I just don't know how to start this question. Isn't it frustrating when we're staring at a bunch of data and we have no idea how to begin? Let me show you what I mean with this 2020 OCR A-level physics question from paper one. We have a small object of mass m which is placed on a horizontal rotating disk. So this thing is rotating at a distance r from the center of the disk. We're given the frequency of rotation. Show that the frequency is given by this complicated looking equation. How do we even start? The best thing to do in this case is to write down something that we know is definitely true. In this case we're given that the force acting on the object F, the frictional force, is equal to the centripetal force. There are two formulas that we know for the centripetal force. One is that the centripetal force is equal to mv squared over r. Another one is that the force is equal to m omega squared times r. Both of these formulas are given in our equation sheet. What we need to do is uh, rearrange essentially for the frequency. We know that the force F is equal to kmg, so I can just say that this is equal to kmg is equal to m omega squared times r. Now I know that omega is equal to 2 pi f, so I can just write brackets 2 pi f squared times r. Our next step will be to cancel all the m, so we can go ahead and cancel those. And what we're left with is that kg is equal to 4 pi squared f squared r. And all we need to do is our final step, which will be to rearrange for f squared. And if we do so, we are going to get that f squared is equal to kg over 4 pi squared times r, which is of course equal to the expression that I've provided, which is gk over 4 pi squared times 1 over r. So we should never ever give up on a question. Now what I want you guys to do is use your skills because we have a kitten in danger and have a look at this video next to use your skills in physics to save a kitten.